Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is Brooke. I'm Tony. Today, we're watching House of the Dragon Season 1, Episode 7, Driftmark. We appreciate you guys pulling up. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit us up on Patreon if you guys want to see the full-length, uncut reaction over there. And let's go. Let's go. I feel like we're following along with the politics and the story really well. I just think it's the names throwing me off. I don't want you guys right. to think the, that I'm not the following The dragon's names are throwing names. me off, honestly. I'm not good with them yet, quite yet. They changed the pitch up right there, didn't they? Didn't they do something different right there? It seems like it. Yeah, they took out a syllable. I think it drew, I drew out a little longer in the original. See, there's Rhaenyra. And then she goes somewhere. Oh, she has three. But I only... You know this Yeah, I know about three. This makes me think of that. Through the fire and the flames. Oh, that yeah. guitar hero song? Yeah. You know, that's the Targaryen song, Through the Fire and Flames. Oh, yeah, I forgot about Joffrey. Sorry, I was just thinking out loud. I forgot she had a son named Joffrey. Let's go. Trust me, we've been wanting to watch this all day. Haven't I been quoting it? So annoying. I'm so I know, annoying. She quotes, I mean, <laughs> he quotes Otto Hightower. Oh, <laughs> he always has one he likes to pick. It was Stannis last series. Aww. Aww. Hey, he's back. What? Oh, and he's speaking Valerian. That's Coros's cousin, is it? Nephew? A brother or something? Babies. <laughs> Some of them probably don't understand what's being said. Aegon sure as heck didn't. <laughs> Look how many. I know. I feel like I didn't know Lena enough, you know? Yeah, she grew up in one episode. That poor little girl that was walking with Viserys had to meet that fate. And she's probably cool because she rode one of those tough dragons. Yeah, her character came and went way too fast. <laughs> her face. Have you seen your father? Your little cousins have lost their mother. You could use a kind word. I have an equal claim to sympathy. She'd be a harrowing and mourning your line on Sahara. It would not be appropriate. Didn't he ask if that was his dad? Mm -hmm. And the strongs are not. Do you understand? Dragons. The flesh. Weaving dragons of thread. We have nothing in common. She's our sister. <laughs> you marry her then. I would perform my duty. If mother had only betrothed us, it would strengthen the family, keep our Valyrian blood pure. She's an idiot. She's your future queen. He knows what's up. We actually do have one thing in common. We both fancy creatures with very long legs. <laughs> Are we like some tall? That's Wait. what he was thinking about <laughs> in the window. <laughs> Ant woman. Dragon's flesh. What's up with her and bows? She was picking up that millipede last time. And then there's a bug. Oh, strong sun's been staring at you since the moment we arrived. Oh, Holly Potwig over there. <laughs> it is only a look of pride, Sir Kristen. Laris is the new Lord of Harrenhal. Look at there. Congrats. You sneaky little bastard. Congrats. Look at him. Rats will be eating people's stomachs out there eventually. Aww. Aww. She needed someone. Both my seat and high tide will be yours one day, Viserys. Your brother will be king, of course. The Lord of the Tides rules the sea. Sorry. I don't want to. All right, John. I know, little John. Do not want to. That's right, lad. If I'm the Lord of Driftmark, it means everyone's dead. Oh, he just can't deal with the losses. Her hair's different. All Corlys really cares about is that damn secession, don't he? They even say grandma back then. They're still mad about the pig thing. Yeah, it looks like they're just gonna let it go for the day though. <laughs> they gonna get some on my nerves.
He spent all that time away from his sister, too, in service of the realm. I know. Working his butt off, Loki, because that's that's a lot. Retrieve your patron. Brother. So his brother. Oh, yeah, he said niece and at the funeral. Oh, Viserys. Your girls have a very image of their mother. The gods can be cruel. It seems they've been especially cruel to you. They're just yes. being bros. You should return with us to King's Landing. It's time that you came home. Pentos is my home, and that of my children. Damon, I know we've had our differences, but let them pass with the years. There's a place for you in my court. I need nothing. He seems retired of the game, isn't he? Brother. To be honest, I can't put a pulse on how that man's feeling. He's laughing, lashing out. Sorry for your loss, my prince. Oh. No matter how fat the leech grows, it always wants for another meal. You just can't. Don't even try with him. Like, you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't talk to Damon. I'm just wondering. Go to bed. Oh, I'm going to bed. I'm going to bed, Emma. <gasps> Emma? Shall I see after Queen Alice in your place? No so spare. that just shows how Jack he yeah, is. Like he... Watch that, Why do you call her that? No just because he's senile? That's his ex yeah. Wife's name, yeah. So he's like either messed up or that senile, he's like losing it that bad. I'm not gonna it's not gonna be a pause fest. Guys, I'm so sorry. The reason I got confused is because I told you in that other show that girl's name's Emma. Oh yeah. So it, it just really threw me off. It got me thinking Emma from Maybe it was uh, an Easter egg. <laughs> yeah, exactly, hundred percent. But yeah, his ex was Emma. Oh, did you see the moon damn? Mm-hmm. What was the thing? Dang, she just has to eat that. <laughs> I'm scared. Brother. Nah, that's Gramps, bro. Get to bed. <laughs> this is intense. That was just a really dark scene to start this out. Mm -hmm. Jeez. And he denied her. Damon did what he thought best. Damon only ever does what is best for Damon. Lena needed our maesters. She should have been having birth Surgeons in King's Landing, she said. Are as well trained High tide. As our maesters. Oh yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. You're looking to place blame for an act of the gods. Mayhaps the gods have scorned us for our insatiable pride. The crown was yours until those fools at the Great Council plucked it from your head. Is it such a terrible thing for your husband to wish to win it back? It's not justice for your wife that drives you, it is your own ambition. Right, right. that's how I'm yeah. feeling. Desire for the throne. If He's not fighting for her. The scions of your house. I gave up the idea of wearing a crown a generation ago. It is you, Lord Husband, who refuses to abandon this pursuit, even now at the cost of our children. What is this brief mortal life? If not the pursuit of legacy. He's just trying to have something for their kids, I, I guess. I want Driftmark to pass through Lena's line to Bela, to true Valarian blood. And yeah, start talking to that other boy. He will be the king consort. You would have me cast an even darker shadow over those little boys than already exists. We are alone here, husband. You can speak the plain truth as we both know it. Rhaenyra's children are not of your blood. But Lena's are. That's going to be a problem, I think. Mm-hmm. History does not remember blood. It remembers names. He said, that's that girl shiz. So, babe, why, why is he so hell-bent? It seems like he's sort of under the idea that Rhaenyra's kid should be next in the line of succession, right? Right, not, why not, not his just Cyrus, Lucerus, huh? So, keep going, explain to me. Not just, he was talking to Lucerus at the funeral, which is the younger boy. Right. What are you saying? So why... She was saying that the line should go through our kids, and he seemed like he didn't like that. Why? No, she. Okay, so it should go through Lenor because he's a boy, right? Mm -hmm. But she knows that Lenor and Rhaenyra's kids are not their kids, right? So, so she wants the true like blood to have it, which is obviously Bela. And Coralus is just—he feels like he's so close to really etching his name in history. That that's he what just I doesn't think. Really that's that's personally I just wanted what to make I think. Sure. It's okay. his motivation, but I'm not sure we have to see more. I just don't him. want to judge him incorrectly, so I was really wanting you to make sure. Yeah. Okay. So in a sense, he feels like he's not in denial. He knows it, but he knows it. I feel like everyone kind of knows it. Okay. But... Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. It 
us names. Yeah, that's true. Oh, what he said just made all the sense in the world. The first time I didn't really take it like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it hit me like that too the second time. Lenor has been restless for years, but now he will be useless or worse. I know better than anyone that our marriage is a farce, but I at least make the effort to maintain appearances. You have more to lose. Yes, well, that has been my lot since my father named me heir. We did try to conceive a child. We performed our duty as best we could, but to no avail. There was no joy in it. I found that elsewhere. It felt good to be desired. Admission. I understand Sir Harwin was quite devoted to you. Yes, he was. And I trusted him. Should have forbidden Sir Harwin from returning to the Riverlands. Harren's curse is said to be as strong now as it was after the conquest. It's a ghost story. One Sir Otto and the Queen would gladly exploit. I do not believe Alicent capable of cold murder. Yeah, you must know something, Damon. <laughs> Each of us is capable of depravity. We're more than you would believe. I believe it of you. If you're accusing me of some depravity, you'll need to be more specific. I have been alone. You abandoned me. I spared you. You were a child. Yes, I was a child. And look at what my life became without you. Droll tragedy. Oh, oh, I wonder what you think of mine by comparison. I know little of it. Are Did they saying they're in love? Mm -hmm, that's of. the vibe I'm getting. Right. We were happy enough. See, he won't say yeah. I am sorry. Don't be. I am at least allowed to mourn my losses. Dang, she's not even allowed to mourn the loss, huh? I'm no longer a child. Uh oh. Oh no. This ain't good. It's kind of nice though. Every time I go to the beach, it's crowded. <laughs> Damn, that's so long overdue, isn't it? I guess so. If it has to be done, you know, if it has to be incest now or incest later, I guess let's just do it now. I thought somebody saw him. I thought that was the implication right there. I mean, they're in Dagon Public. Maybe someone will. Get on in there, Damon. Atta boy. <laughs> <laughs> Make a queen out of her yet. My only worry is y'all should have waited like days. <laughs> yeah. Months, maybe. They just put her to rest, right? Both of y'all's exes just died. All right, let's not get all cast away on everybody, okay? Okay. I mean, at least Damon's being a gentleman about it. <laughs> like, I can't really see what's going on, but okay. The long night 2.0 over here. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like someone sees with binoculars. Is that Eamon? Eamon, what you doing? <laughs> <laughs> the Jamaican Eamon. <laughs> that was my Jamaican accent. It sucked. Do it one more time? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm actually really good at it. I just can't do it. Yeah, someone told us little birds or ravens could be Bran, so that was Bran. Visiting the past. Yeah, Bran said, Eamon saw it. I hope Bran ain't a pervert. Bran can see a lot of nasty stuff. He's got to be tracking something other than Rhaenyra. <laughs> oh, there he is. Oh, a dragon? Who is it? They got Is he mourning? Is that him or her? Oh, I can't tell. Remember, dragons mourn and fly off. It's She's gonna just... be alone to mourn. Oh, so it flew to her home? It does look like that one because it has the, like, the ropes on the top. Does he look kind of like an old professor dragon? Yeah. He don't have a dragon, so what if it... It could kill him, it could kill him. Or you could take it. Ooh. It's our Gary right there. So it wasn't, it didn't care? <gasps> oh no, 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 no. Oh, he said serve. Security. What's security mean? I don't know, stop. Security. We know serve because uh. The Horace, yeah. yeah. Oh, 
Oh, it already had this at all. Oh, no. That boy's crazy. He didn't have hell. the pits, like, to train it. So he's just hopping on, boy. He's just <laughs> getting you up. That's what I'm saying. He went straight into competitive. No warm up. You think that means fly? That's it. Get off this ground. Whoa. That's like on Red Dead Redemption where you have to, like, Huh? <laughs> what? When when you first get a horse, you have to like <laughs> when you ride like a wild horse. Oh, it tries to buck you off. Yeah, <laughs> you have to like balance with the joystick like. Oh hell! <laughs> <laughs> My thing is, I don't know if we like this one or not. This boy. He's nice. He doesn't do nothing, you know. He just gets picked on. Crazy. I'm proud of him. It's pretty obvious to me that this is a good one and the other one's just shitty one, right? Because he's the one doing that. <laughs> getting, yeah. getting kicked by his grandpa. Wow. Well, I'd say he's a natural. It's like he was born to do that. Right. So we bonded with him without having to be in his cradle and stuff. He just That's told interesting, yeah. I mean, I guess Rhaegar was looking for a new uh, Targaryen to help. Well, it looked like it was sleeping. <laughs> you know. Amazing. Jace, wake up. Someone stole Rhaegar. <laughs> like Grand Theft Auto? How the hell are you still Rhaegar? <laughs> <laughs> So y'all napped on the beach. Such a woman thing to do, just knock out. <laughs> First time we ever hung out, just so you guys know, I came over for about 45 minutes and she wanted me to lay down and take a nap with her. I was like, what the hell? Naps are essential. <laughs> Vagar knows. Vagar is my mother's dragon. Your mother's dead. Vagar has a new rider now. Maybe your cousins can find you a pig to ride. Oh. It would suit her. <laughs> oh. oh. No! Oh. Come at me again and I'll feed you to my dragon. Oh! Dang, that little boy's kind of a punk. Yeah, beat him up. Right, that moment was heartfelt until now. Oh no. Oh. He's Loki getting jumped though. You will die screaming in flames just as your father did. Bastards. My father's still alive. He doesn't know, does he? All strong. Oh. Uh oh. Dang. Uh oh. 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 Y'all wildin'. These little kids playing too much. It's like, where are the flies over here? Oh. Dude. Dude. No. God, that was violent. Oh my goodness. They're just kids. Oh my gosh. Could be good. How could you allow such a thing to happen? Oh my goodness. That's like Joffrey. He Narnia. cut his face. That's like Joffrey Narnia. Answers. He's gonna have a uh, was supposed to be a, a John Snow kid. cut. You know that score we'll he's got. To watch. Young Prince was attacked by his own cousin, Your Grace. You swore oaths to protect and defend my blood. It will heal, will it not, Maester? The flesh will heal. Oh! Oh my gosh! Your eyes lost your grace. No! Where were you? Me. Oh, oh, what was that for? It was nothing. I was beaten off, mother. The abuse. Your brother suffered while you were drowning in your cups, you fool. What is the meaning of this? Dang, she's calling it abuse. Oh, they don't even know. Grace? Luke! Who did this? They attacked me! He attacked Bela! The serious grandpa of the year. Oh, this is about chaos. What do you say, Viserys? Grandpa and Dad are the end. Silence! 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 What else is there to hear? Your son has been maimed. Her son is responsible. It was a regrettable accident. Accident? The Prince Lucera has brought a blade to the ambush. He meant to kill my son. It was my sons who were attacked and forced to defend themselves. Vile insults were levied against them. What insults? Shut up. Why are you gonna make it public like that? The legitimacy of my son's birth was put loudly to question. What? He called us bastards. 
Because that makes it look bad when you say it out loud. <laughs> My right. sons are in line to inherit the Iron Throne, Your Grace. This is the highest of treasons. Oh. Prince Aemon must be sharply questioned so we might learn where he heard such slanders. Facts. <laughs> Over an insult. My son has lost an eye. Where did you hear this lie? The insult was training yard bluster. The lot of boys, it was nothing. Aemon, I ask you a question. <laughs> where is Elaenor? I wonder the boy's father. His I sister resigned. I. Entertaining his young squires. No adventure. <laughs> shut up, Aemon. Chris. I know, shut up. Your king demands an answer. Who spoke these lies to you? Your mother, your grace. <laughs> your wife. It was Uncle. <gasps> oh. Blame man. the stupid one. He's like, I was drunk. Yeah, where'd you hear it? Where did you hear such calumnies? Agon! Tell me the truth of it! We know. Father, everyone knows. Just yeah. This interminable infighting must cease! All of you! We are a family! Now make your apologies and show goodwill to one another. Your father, your grandsire, your king demands it! That's the toughest I've seen him. That's the toughest I felt in this situation. Like, I feel bad for Allison. I feel bad for Anira. Because if I was Allison, bro, I would want blood. You know what I'm saying? That would be. That is insufficient. See, look. Aemon has been damaged permanently. My king, goodwill cannot make him whole. I know, Allison. But I cannot restore his eye. No, because it's been taken. What would you have me do? There is a debt to be paid. I shall have one of her son's eyes in return. <laughs> no, no, no. She crazy, bro. He is your son, Sarah. Your blood. Do not allow your temper to guide your judgment. I know that we're making cliches about that for the, the next king thousand will not years. Justice, the queen will. Sir Kristen, <laughs> bring me the eye of Lucerus Valarian. What? Yeah, go ahead, Kristen. You will do no such thing. Stay your hand. No, you are sworn to me. Come on, sir. I side piece. Let's go. Alison, this matter is finished. Do you understand? I mean, at least give her kids a spanking, though. You know, <laughs> like, jeez. And let it be known, anyone whose grounded. tongue dares to question the birth of Princess Rhaenyra's sons should have it removed. Damn. Okay, guys, I'm so sorry. I just want to get these thoughts out the way. Babe, I feel like she is pissed. Oh, she yeah. feels like you love your own daughter more than you love me and you love your own sons. I'm basically in this for absolutely nothing. Hell no. But at the same time, she's crazy as hell. <laughs> she's going to take someone's eye. We're going to start pulling out kids' eyes. Like, it was clearly, like, she does. She is not raising no saints, clearly. You she, see Aegon in his self. Don't they all kind of suck, though? I don't know. That's the first I time. I can't really tell if Rhaenyra's kids suck. That's the first time I've seen, suck. like, Aemon suck. He hasn't really sucked. He got picked yeah. on. Man. Uh, we don't really know much about her kids, but dang. How the, yeah, man. How on earth do your kids suck that bad? I mean... Uh, I don't even understand. Especially back then, boy, you could beat well, the hell out of her. Remember, she's, Not that I believe remember in that. she was like poisoning that son the last time. She's like, you are the challenge or whatever. She's like been like preaching to them, it feels like. Well, she's paranoid as hell. Like, I feel like she's maybe she's sitting there attributing all these evil intentions to Rhaenyra because deep down, like she's really cold. Maybe. And so in her mind, she thinks Rhaenyra is just some horrible person. Oh, she's jelly of Rhaenyra, I think. Now she's about to be hella jealous. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, shoot. Oh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. You went too far. I was my done, but what was expected of me? Forever. Oh, that's the, kingdom, the dagger. The family, the law. Will you full out your order, duty, please? Alison, let her go! Where is duty? Where is sacrifice? And now you take my son's eye. And to even that, you feel entitled. Exhausting, wasn't it? Hiding beneath the cloak of your own righteousness. Yeah, that's true, too. Oh my gosh. She just wants some accountability for Anira, doesn't she? Oh, she's bleeding. Accountability for uh -huh. what? Just like everything she's done gets to be shoved under like a rug, basically. Like the bastard kids and stuff? Yeah. 
I mean, perks of being the daughter, I guess. Wow. Shit, we even now, you didn't cut the princess. Do not mourn me, mother. It was a fair exchange. I may have lost an eye, but I gained a dragon. Oh. I got a feeling we're going to look back at that one day. Think about how cold that was. Mm -hmm. This proceeding is at an end. <laughs> That's the most alive I feel like Viserys has been in episodes. Like he showed passion right there. Viserys is a cool mother sucker boy. I don't know why I like Viserys. He's just doing his best. Aw, like, I don't know. Is that all? Wow. Talk about a Thanksgiving you don't want to go to. Say your piece. Now what piece is that? Causing trouble for I the hand. I conducted myself in a manner unbefitting my station. I lost composure. I sorted the princess. Already the word is spreading, the gossip speculating I've gone mad. All true. I've disgraced myself. The Mad Queen. And ensured my husband's favor will forever rest on her. And yet, I've never seen that side of you, my daughter. <laughs> That's my girl. I even doubted its existence. It was an ugly thing, I regret it. We play an ugly game. Oh, bro, what the hell? <laughs> and now, for the first time, I see that you have the determination to win it. You a backstab and yeah. B, we love it. what she is, what the king's stubbornness has wrought. What will he say to me? He'll forgive you. What else can he do? Now go to him, be penitent, plead the injury to your son, and I promise you in time, you and I together will prevail. Oh, hell Prevail? Not. What that rogue Aemon has done in winning Vega to our side. The boy was right. It's worth a thousand times the price he paid. Dang, that goes to show what you think of your family compared to power. Holy crap, Otto. I mean, he said I'm messing an eye with for you, a dragon. Yeehaw. Making it hard on me. Y'all just had to show that, right? I'm so sorry, guys. I'm just not scared of needles. I'm just being dramatic. You will scar, but the wound will heal. Look at his nose plugs. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens when you is leave. Right? Leave us. I should have been there. They should be our house words. <laughs> <laughs> we lay nor I all, have man. fought dreadful enemies, but I could not defend my dear sister. I could not defend you. Sit down. Aemond called our sons bastards. I have failed you, Rhaenyra. Aww. Our marriage, I tried. Our boys, I do love them. I know. Deeply. But I have not, mayhaps, loved them enough. I had hoped to bear your children. A few times we lay together, things might have been different. I hate the gods for making me as they did. I do not. You are an honorable man with a good heart. It's a rare thing. We made an arrangement all those years ago to do our duty and yet explore happiness. <laughs> but there are times, I think, when these things cannot mutually exist. Yeah, true. That'd be so hard. So Carl will return soon to the fighting in the Stepstones, but I recommit myself to you. That man is real as hell. Our house as we prepare you for your ascension, I will raise our sons. He's a soldier to the realm. realm. Yeah, he yeah. is. You deserve better than what I have been. Aww. You deserve a husband. It'd be really hard being with her too, because Renera don't smile, bro. She's just a walking basket of anxiety on the ship. I'm so sorry. Viserys. We'll speak no more of it. Just wants peace. She's looking very vogue today. Like the magazine cover? Mm-hmm. Zero propulsion. You would think they would be making some rocky winds or something. When she was talking to the king just then, was she in there? Mm-hmm. I thought they were on a horse. I thought so too. <laughs> Oh, they were on a horse on the way to the ship. She oh, okay. said, I'll prepare you some wine for the ship. Yeah, I forgot. My bad. Fire is such strange power. Everything that House Targaryen possesses is owed to it. Yet it has cost us both what we love. Perhaps the Valarians knew the truth of it. The sea is the better ally. Fire is a prison. The sea offers an escape. Damn, that was deep. Mm hmm A perversion of justice. The young prince defiled. <laughs> 
outrage. If it's an eye you want to balance the scales, I am your servant. That will not be necessary. But your devotion is not gone unnoticed. Oh, please don't tell me they like fall in love or something. The day will doubtless come when I require such a friend. With not only skill, but discretion as well. Signing a deal with the devil, don't do it. I shall await your call, my queen. To be honest, I'd have threw his peg-legged ass off the boat. <laughs> I'll be killing people in my name. And he likes that. He doesn't get blamed for it. <laughs> I need you, uncle. Casto timer pina iuragon costundaur. Il vur anogri ilo letago. They're drafting soldiers right now. Oh my goodness. Hihis bel zuris bel mura o mai sarome. Husband, but you're married. So sa hi biluk staur. Vlaria in boniaris. In aoni ke. Oh. And she's speaking in Valerian because she wants to be all intimate with him, I guess. Right. We could not marry unless Leonor were dead. Don't you do it. No. Mother. No. I know. You're Don't. too good for that, Renee. They need the Driftmark people, though. They need them. So you can't do this. That man's been so loyal. He just went and repledged loyalty right. again. You can't do this to him. You man can't signed do this another ten year contract. He did. I heard about your exploits in the Stepstones, Sir Carl. You're said to be a knight of Carl, remarkable you. skill. You flat me, my lord. But alas, common ball. You're a landless knight with a lord's taste. You said I know what's been kind to me. Yeah, he's wearing blue. Do you know? Huh. There are places across the narrow sea. Where it doesn't matter what a man's name is, only how much gold he possesses. What are you asking of me, my lord? A quick death. That's. I'm sorry for this. That is so messed up. One with witnesses? And he gave him money? I will not be a tyrant. And rule through terror. A tyrant rules only through terror. <laughs> Who did he just kill? With the king's uh, feared, he is powerless. Who was that? If you are to be a no strong one I know. you must cultivate love and respect, yes, but your subjects must fear you. Who let you in here? You have always looked down on me. No, he no. hasn't. I do love Lenu. Then grant him this kindness. Set him free. You forget yourself. Oh my gosh. But I thought he was like, I thought he liked him. Why I would you kill him for gold? This will cost Lord Corliss and Princess Rhaenys their only <gasps> remaining child. Oh no. And the realm will whisper that I was somehow responsible. Whisper. <sighs> We all know the truth of it, and our enemies won't. They will fear what else we might be capable of. He was so good to y'all. Dang, now I kind of like Allison. Oh, the dragon glass cut. Forehead swipe. I'm kind of pissed at you guys. Well, I'm not trying to be weird, but y'all did some dark junk before y'all were doing this weird wedding. Don't it feel like they just made the choice to sell out for power? Like 100%. Yeah. They joined the Illuminati. Wedding ceremony, though. A plus. How y'all got there? F plus. It's an A plus. Y'all didn't break the bank on it. No, it's the costumes. They're, they're pretty nice. There's car on it. Is that laying on with a haircut? Shut up. That oh. is him. Oh my gosh. So they let him go. So they protected him. That's going to make me real sad. I'm not oh my, my gosh. So they killed someone else. I don't know. The guy he snapped his neck. That was still kind of dark. Still kind of dark. Okay, guys. So um, I thought they killed Lenor. Turns out they let him escape. Uh, that makes sense because they were saying in the little monologue, it'll be our secret and they'll think. Anyway, but, so. But they were implying it that they killed his ass. Chills, chills, chills. <laughs> Always. That was a trick. And then they even went and they had like a little blood ceremony. So, babe, oh that was House gosh. of the Dragon, episode seven. Y'all know what's up. Drift Mark. Guys, let me just say, and I'm going to reiterate it, and I know a lot of people are going to get upset at this, but man, I'm really liking this show. Yeah, Prepared this to Game great. of Thrones. 
I'm not saying I like it better, but I don't find it to be worse in any means. I, I know it's a completely different show, <laughs> Jeez. and it's going for like a different type of storytelling. But pound for pound, I think this show is going crazy. Uh, let me pull up my little my nifty nifty episode real quick. But okay, guys, this was called Driftmark, of course, and it started in Driftmark where Lena is put to rest in the sea. Um, Very beautiful, by the way, because she was a character we really didn't get to know too much. It really sucks that she had to grow up right in front of us. But it sucks that we also didn't get how she came to ride Vagar because when you know we did we do see Vagar later on this episode. But it would have been nice to see how Lena like bonded with Vagar too. I'm glad in a sense that the story's moving like it is, but on some level, I wish it would slow down. Well, in regards to the Lena character, I would have loved to like got to know her more, I guess, because we didn't get to. But at the end of the day, I guess it it was nice to see that she was laid to rest to like happily like in a good spot, like in in the sea where she belongs. Well, she was awesome. And I think the way she died was just how do you describe it? Inspirational. I mean, she died the way she wanted to. Someone out of someone who was born of the water wanted to exit through the fire and i thought it was just really beautiful yeah. so she definitely died how she lived really awesome character like you said it, it's weird that we saw that little girl on tv talking to the Saris, and then next thing you know she grows up into a woman and then she's just gone so to be honest i do feel like the show's moving a little fast for me in that yeah. regard i'd like to see these characters grow a little bit but whatever you know it's whatever right because i do remember their her and viserys's dialogue she was talking actually about vagar still being available like, cause, cause Viserys wrote Beleriand, which is Vagar's, I guess, sister or something. Mm -hmm. So it was just like, or brother. It was cool to see, I guess, that tie together. But it was cool to see her like that chapter being closed. But then as we progress to this, um, was it funeral? Mm -hmm. We see that Rhaenyra is telling her son Jaceris. She's telling her son Jaceris to go comfort. Well, that was the youngest one, or the, she told the older one. So yeah. that would be Jaceris. And as that's happening. Coralus is going up to Lucerus, telling him that Driftmark is going to be his. I did notice that if it's like uh, a gone, a mon, I noticed like the oldest kid always gets the second letter that comes first. So like G comes before M, so it's a gone and then a mon. And then like with the boys, it is what is it, Jaceris, and then it would be Lucerus because J comes before L. Oh, okay. So it, the the names do kind of go chronologically that way. So that's the only damn reason I can hold on and remember, <laughs> guys, to be honest. That well, my little name pad over there. <laughs> I'm proud of you. Thank you. But anyways, I'm better with names, guys, because I'm really big on subtitles. Like, so and I'm, I'm like, not good with names because I'm of the male gender. <laughs> and my brain does not retain information as good as yours because <laughs> her brain's highly superior. So No, that's not true. Anyways, um, so... Coralist kind of goes to Lucerus and tells him he can he wants him to have a drift mark, which obviously um in a later scene is a is a problem between him and his wife Renice because Renice wants to give drift mark to Bela, which is Damon and Lena's child. Right. She wants it to stay in the family, in the true blood family. And she's sitting there looking at Coralist and saying, You know those kids aren't even related to you. If that gets exposed, your whole line is gonna be ended just based on the scandal. But he's so close to power and he's so scared that he's not gonna secure it that he's almost willing to gamble that. Right. Right. And it's very obvious they have a divide. It seems like to me. He married her just strictly for like a power reason. I don't know how much he loves her. They don't have a relationship that suggests to me they're in love with each other. Really? I think I think they do act like they're in love to me. Do they? Do they? Yeah. Not the other stuff? episodes I thought they did. Do they kiss? Yeah. They're like, okay. they actually like hold each other and stuff. It's well, then, like, then I totally take that back. Uh, I, I thought it's unique how they kind of love each other, but I'm starting to see oppositely now when she when he grabbed her hand and was like, I'm doing this for you. And she pulls back because she doesn't want it. Well, if he's that interested in power, I mean, if that's his ultimate end goal, I can imagine that he'd put up a good front that he's a caring husband in order to obtain it. I mean, regardless of if he loves her or doesn't love her in this world, it doesn't really matter that much. Like I said, those two things are mutually exclusive, but I will say that divide is going to be very interesting because without her, I mean, he, he has ties to old Valeria and all that, but without her, he doesn't have any type of claim and he's just, he just has to walk such a fine line with her. Right. So that's going to be interesting. And, and that lost, I'll put it that way. They just lost Lena as well. So, and oh shit. They just lost Lainor. They lost Lainor. They don't have an yeah. They don't have they an don't heir. Have oh my god! I just thought about that. Okay, that's like a whole another thing. But so the whole argument is gonna like. So if it is the girls, like they're gonna have to make that weird gender argument that everyone's struggling with. Mm. 
So that's complicated, man. That's really complicated. Right. Anyways, we also see that Rhaenyra and Damon are now like a thing. We saw that when they did the stuff on the beach. But then we saw a a Amun. Amun. Um, he was like, you know, on the beach too. It honestly looked like he saw them. That's what I thought. Right. That scene transition. I thought that he done caught them and I thought he was about to go snitch his mom and it was going to call right. drama. Okay. But instead, he ends up riding Vagar, which we just spoke about, which was Lena's. So Lena just passes. Basically, she doesn't even get in the water before her dragon's being rode by someone else, which her daughter, Bela. Her husband's being rode by someone else and her dragon's being rode by someone else. <laughs> so she is not having a good day. Right. But also, um, what was crazy to me was when Aegon finally, or Aemon, sorry. When sorry, I'm just here for the dirty jokes. I'm just queuing. <laughs> Anyway, when Aemon finally does ride the dragon, he goes to like I guess like an underground dungeon, and the daughter is like the daughter Bela. I think it was Bela. She goes up and is like that dragon was supposed to be for me. Was that not going into the dragon pits or no? I don't because they're in high tide. So oh yeah, they're they're in high tide. So uh, yeah. you're right. You're right. So, Sorry guys, I'm so mm -hmm. dumb. I keep forgetting we're in high tide because I'm dumb. Oh, you're not dumb. You're not dumb. I just told you I read the subtitles. So. Well, I mean, I, but I know that they're in high tide. I just keep forgetting because it's a new place in my mind. I just keep going back to the default place anyways Bela feels like it's she's entitled to it because it was her mother's well Eamon basically says you know it it's mine because I bonded with her or whatever and then they get into a huge fight which ends up with Lucerus right the younger one mm -hmm. taking out Eamon's eye right so Eamon's eyes out they go to the council the court about it where you know it's not really court it's just like a family meeting which was very similar to when Robert Baratheon had to deal with Arya and, Arya Sansa, and Sansa and, and Joffrey yeah Arya went crazy on yeah, him that and was, was like, proven how violent she could be right right and that's how Allison Cersei was, was like Cersei was situation. Uh, smirking at it or smirking at it no she was like she was like, the wolf has to be killed, remember? And she was like, and Arya has to, something has to happen to her, something crazy. So you're basically trying to say that Allison is giving you Cersei vibes? No, Allison in this moment, she wasn't giving me Cersei vibes or anything. It just reminds me because of how hostile everyone's being. Well, like, when she wanted to go take that eye out, that was the same way that Cersei wanted to put that wolf down. Right, I don't, I don't think she's giving me Cersei vibes quite yet. She's not all the way there. I think like that guy Laris is gonna turn her there. <laughs> Like yeah, he's just you know so. he just is giving me vibes where he's snaky and well I feel early like on in Game of Thrones I felt like Cersei was sort of I mean she was terrible but to an extent like Joffrey acting crazy she seemed appalled by some yeah of like in, in but the, she got very comfortable when Ned's quick. head got taken off it seemed like she was against that so I was thinking early on she's not she she doesn't really want that she's just kind of all talk but nah she ended up being you know well I think in that moment she realized. Ned's head's gonna cost me mine in the long run because we're about to start a war. Right. And I think ultimately she didn't really care. It's just she wanted to self preserve. Right. But yeah, amazing, amazing. And then he goes and he rides the dragon. The way he tells it to serve is sick. This dragon looks incredible. It's a huge dragon. I'm really loving the scenes where the dragons are grazing in the water mm -hmm. and making ripples in the water. Yeah. That's such a majestic thing in a way. I don't know, man. It's just symbolic to me. It's almost like freedom. It's almost yeah. like they're trying to express how free and open everything is there. So I love that. I guess the dragon in the, cause we're, cause you know, he gets his eye taken out and he says, I've lost my eye, but I gained a dragon. And for him to say that such a strong thing and for Otto to also back him up on it and say, you know, that's actually very valuable. He said I, it's, it's worth a thousand of that. Right. So the thing is like that dragon must, must be so crucial for them because in his mind like he's only thinking things in terms of like war. power dynamics yeah yeah and he's war. not thinking about what's best in terms of like a personal relationship with his you know right so if we're thinking grandson. of dragons in terms of nukes or power we just gained some more of it so like we got a few more codes to the nuclear bomb super like, interesting that Otto hightower became hand of the king again I, that's another thing about being rushed see. i didn't yeah. get to see you right. know how amazing that conversation would have been right your grace because I, I think the first conversation between them two was phenomenal i mean it was one of my favorite moments so far from the series i guess he weaseled his way back in there maybe right. it was just eventually nah i guess allison allison got in viserys's ear because he's becoming old and weak and, right and you can tell she's a lot she's uh, she's a lot more bold with him and mm -hmm. she's a lot more pushy and i'm guaranteeing she lobbied for her dad to get that position well you know what i'm even thinking i'm even thinking more than that i'm thinking of the dinner where her and laris were sitting there and he said he said, oh, and your dad would have done better. And she said, well, he would have been loyal to me. And so I'm starting to think maybe her and Laris did that. But see, the power dynamic I'm getting is I got the, and this is just a vibe, but 
she doesn't walk up to Otto to tell him anything. He walks up right. to her to tell her. Just like when she when she cut uh, Rhaenyra, she was freaking out because she didn't want to disappoint her dad. So, and in, in her mind, if she's gonna be the queen right now, and if she's not gonna care about anyone, if she's not even gonna respect Viserys, everyone has to have at least one person or one thing mm -hmm. they respect. So, her maybe it's her dad, maybe you yeah. know. And it seems like he weaseled her and convinced her to put him back in power. I don't know. It's just really interesting. Right, I'm really excited. To see it was that weird. Out how at the thing when she's holding the knife it was weird how he was proud of her in that moment like he said i know you have what it takes now like to me that was like so he's been doing this all along well in his way it's like finally you're able to like facilitate power with me opposed to me sitting there having to manipulate you behind the strings like it's exhausting it's exhausting right. that i can't just come out and say what needs to be said i always have to somehow dangle your emotions and twist things and make you you know and and with her being on the same page as him because in that moment she basically she kind of threw it all away i mean she was willing mm -hmm. to just throw it all away she was enraged so she's very impulsive and a little psychotic right which i can understand in that situation for sure but i think he saw that and he just thought damn i can exploit that like mm -hmm. that's just another asset that i have so he feels like tonight i gained two dragons because you know the boy got a dragon his daughter became a dragon and i just think I think in his mind, man, everything's right there for the taking. He just needs some strong people. Right. Well, my thing is, it. my thing with them on their side of it all is they're really concerned with all this stuff. But Aegon sucks, man. And that's who you're about to have to stand behind. This might be unpopular. My thing with Otto and them, the reason I don't hate them as much as I probably should, is because I understand the prophecy and all that. But in my mind, like if I'm not a Targaryen, my mentality is going to be, okay, so you're born with the last name Targaryen. So what? Just because your family gets to rule for the rest of forever and I have to be your subject forever just because of your name. Obviously, like, as someone from Earth, I don't really like that. Right. And I think that in itself would enrage me. I mean, after seeing the same generation of Targaryens 100 years later still in power, some part of me would think. Basically, what I'm trying to say is if he's trying to consolidate power for his own house or for his own selfish reasons... But, it's not really that but big doesn't deal. that make you curious guys and i'm sorry to change the subject but okay so we're from america obviously but like some of you guys are from places where there are royal families that rule how is that different and what do you guys think about it i can almost guarantee if you're from a country that has a royal family that rules they actually don't rule and i'm pretty sure that's right what you but guys like are say. but is that what you think like do you are you sick of that or would you like to see something else i don't know because i don't have I, I have no opinion on that so it's it'd be interesting to just hear that i guess well we're we're told constantly we live in a democracy which right. isn't really true it's more like a representative republic but anyways we're told that we live in a democracy but if you look around we don't have democracy right like everything that happens and i i don't i don't ask for any of this junk it doesn't matter i can vote all day it's not going to change anything so me on a personal level i don't really feel like i have democracy at least in this world they know it's corrupt in our world they they do one thing and then tell you they're doing another and then tell you you're dumb if you question well i mean it, they so. do it in their world too <laughs> right yeah that is true that yeah is true. but that that's just a side note but w in order for things to change i feel like Otto feels like they have to take things they have to take like the targaryens out or just switch it up to his high towerness or something i don't know well it's just a very simple question okay targaryen or not how does my family bending the knee to targaryens for the rest of our bloodline how does that benefit my family right like this man took my job from me and basically ruined my whole entire my whole bloodline basically just on a whim just because your daughter went out and did something crazy with your uncle and I'm not saying he didn't like have his faults for spying on him and stuff, but he didn't get mad at Rhaenyra for it. He beat up the uncle, but he treated Rhaenyra, you know, with grace, like he always does. And I think other people probably get sick of that. You know, I mean, and, and you know, that's all I'm saying. I don't really have anyone I agree with, disagree with, but right. I just think sometimes Viserys puts the prophecy and his bloodline ahead of, you know, sometimes how he really should handle things right and, but if you're him like right. that's a hard decision to make right because Rhaenyra protects everything he knows like that stuff so right but it seems like Rhaenyra to me and th this might be an unpopular opinion um right now to me I'm not really getting much out of her as a child like I felt like we kind of understood her got to know her a little bit but I'm not seeing too much of her other than she's being very dutiful Right, and that's another thing I was saying. I don't really know how that happened because the characters sort of switched. Allison was all about duty and she seemed nice and respectful. And then Renera was all about having her cake and eating it too. And then they did a complete swap. But I guess in a sense, like Allison she kind of did. Been, she kind of has been still doing that though, having her cake Allison, and eating it too. I like, mean, to with extent, the kids, I don't know. with the kids I, in that way, because she just had one. At, you know. Yeah, and and I get that. I don't really think that's like like ah oh, that lucky trick. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I mean that that's a crappy life. So I don't know. I I don't know why these girls hate each other so much. You know. I mean I get why they do, but 
I don't know. Maybe they shouldn't. But I think like it also shows like the strong theme for this show is your heirs. So I think like Rhaenyra was also being dutiful by because it did say that her and Lainor tried like they did try. But I guess like her being dutiful would be like, I guess, having kids, even if it's not by someone. Can I say something kind of like perverted? Sorry, guys. I don't know. What you, I don't know what it means to try. Like, what does that even mean? I, I don't know. Like, even if I was like not straight i'm pretty sure i could get it done like <laughs> i would just imagine i could if i had to you know what i mean like you i, don't, get what I'm I don't know i don't know let's not get into that but i'm just saying i feel like i could find a way <laughs> you know like I'm it sure seems like could. it could be done and then damon and renera they decide they're going to get married unite their houses which i could kind of see coming especially now that he's freshly single yeah and it seemed like he did not waste i don't know why he laughed at the funeral why did he laugh i have no maybe because she wanted to die a dragon rider's death and there they are putting her in the sea well she did die a dragon rider's death yeah but she died it she died there maybe she didn't want like this whole like other ceremony with the sea i don't know yeah i don't know maybe he laughed because he just found irony in it all i don't know let us know in the comment section why you guys think he did then obviously allison is making deals with the devil this guy over here he's obviously a horrible human being the fact that she would even consider having a conversation with him he very sociopathically killed his brother and his dad without a single piece of remorse so maybe they really suck but he, they just didn't seem like terrible people to me i think he wanted to do that to a you know be this person in his family like the main person right but also he wanted to do that like to ruin the hand to give Otto it back and also to shake rainier up so there i think that's what all that was honestly well, that guy right there obviously has some really weird intentions, but and we gotta... Allison didn't really sign off on how far he went. Oh yeah, absolutely not. But I mean, I guess in this, he already did something so absolutely crazy. Like, there's only one way to go from there. You, just, you can only get crazier. And then obviously, man, there was a great marriage between Damon and his uh, niece. niece. Mm -hmm. So that was a little weird, but that's to be expected at this point. And I thought the coolest part of the episode, 100, was they let Lenore run off with uh, Carl with a Q. Yep. And I guess they're going to go to Karth with a Q. <laughs> yeah, they're going to go to Karth with a Q. I don't know. They're going to Esso somewhere or somewhere like that across the narrow sea. Right. And they're going to go live happily ever after, hopefully. So we'll see how that plays out. And obviously, Coralus is going to be distraught about that. His wife's going to be distraught about that. How did you let this happen in, his, in, in her own halls? Um, I hope it doesn't divide them to take them to the, I guess, the green, the Allison side it yeah yeah it probably it probably will. i hope it doesn't man another thing i was thinking and and then we'll get into the next episode but they killed they killed a lot of people that guard's probably going to be executed you know what i'm saying i don't know right. but they were willing to like destroy a lot of people to let him go so it was re right. a really nice gesture and all but at the same time i don't know man kind of shaky but uh yeah let's get into the next episode right House of Dragons, season one, episode eight, The Lord of the Tides. You know who I just thought about? Both those kids, Rhaenyra's kids, lost like both of their dads, essentially. Like that sucks for them. So I wonder how they're gonna like bounce back from that. <clears throat> Probably crazy. <clears throat> well, you saw how they was without parental supervision. Supervision. Sorry, I don't know what that. <laughs> supervision. <heck. laughs> Man, one kid, one kid threw up some, threw up some sand. I got supervision. <laughs> but anyways, one kid threw up some sand. The other kid just tried. <laughs> like, I thought it was going to, you know what I'm saying? I yeah, thought real it was time, I like, thought it was a little like he was about to smash him with a rock. So he like did the same. Yeah, he held the rock. He was all, he was like, I got the power now. Don't make me use it. <laughs> and he's all like, I don't know, man. I don't know what the hell to think. These kids are wild. Right. You know how you have those Hellions, that we Hellion family? We literally paused it on the last frame. I know. <laughs> You yeah, know, I do have a Hellion family. But you know how there's always that Hellion family? That's like the Targaryens. Don't mess with the Targ boys. They'll tell your ass up. Oh. Man, what are you talking about? <laughs> you know what I'm saying. You talking about some deep, deep Southern Georgia kids? Yeah. Who are just wild? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Dang, you got a strong shoulder. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, give me a go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right there. It definitely took a little something out. Damon? It goes off two ways. It goes that way, uh, whatever that means. It's been near six years since I last saw my Lord Husband, Maester. I must know, will he live? He led his sailors into an ambush. In the fighting, his neck was slashed by a courser's dagger. He fell overboard into the sea. Lord Corlys? The wound was severe. Much blood was lost. But the greater concern is the fever that followed. Ship's maester said, he burns from within. What? I'm about to be pissed off. She looks like Lena. The ravens came in from 
even for princes. So they arrive in three days. Let all be made ready to receive him, Mr. Calvin. What? She hasn't the seen him. snake is strong. In six years? No doubt. And yet I have seen blood fever overcome men half his age. I will not suffer the talk of crows in my house, Feymant. I love my brother. That's what I was thinking. We may greet his ship to find him gone. And who will take the driftwood throne? My grandmother seems quite comfortable here. She presides only in the absence of her husband. On his death, the seat passes. To Lucerus Valarian, as is my lord husband's desire. I am the sea snake's own blood. The closest kin he has left. Be careful, good brother. None can take your words for treason. Right, he ain't even dead yet. Right. And she said grandmother, so huh? Question mark? I speak the truth, Rhaenys. And you know it. The matter has been decided. By a man whose ambition has brought down on us calamity after calamity. My brother cares only for the history books. Damn. But what of the Valarian line? Is it to be snuffed out? Supplanted by the pups of House Strong? Driftmark is mine. Treason. By all rights. Damn, I was thinking he's telling it like it is. Right, but that's treason because because he done said it'll take your tongue the out if you has lie. Good reason. My cousin the king would have your tongue for this. But it's not a king who sits the Iron Throne these days, good sister. It's a queen. A queen? Is he suggesting that he, like, take Horos' place in the bedroom? I don't know. <laughs> That is not what I got from that, but okay. Well, if he wants the throne, then he's going to marry her. Like, if he dies, then he'll marry her. Oh, I didn't think of that. I thought he was just I being selfish. I wasn't trying to say it in like a sexual way. I was just saying like. No, I thought he was just <clears> being <throat> selfish. And I was like, it's mine. I'm the, That's the thing. Another I'm character the relative. that. Relative. Another character that is like selfish. But at the same time, son. what he's saying is good. It makes sense. But it could be selfish. Oh, yeah. Always. You know what I'm saying? Always. What's this crack? Maybe that crack was like a metaphor for like a division. Well, they just shimmy down a wall. So whoever this is, is some, someone different. That's for sure. Oh, oh that was the placenta? That the, was a dragon placenta. This is the hatcher. Damon. <laughs> what, why? Why did he shimmy that wall? <laughs> My Sarkesimadas, Sir Masters, and Drift Marcot. Love her handwriting. Yeah, definitely hard to read. Something about Drift Mark. <laughs> Dranut. Dranut. Of uh, the end. Oh, she's Mouth. pregnant. Yeah. Is she? Dranut. Oh, yeah, she is. Dang, another name I'm gonna have to remember. <laughs> Dranut. Jeez. Perhaps that's enough for this morning. No, no, I, I want to keep going. Oh, that's the prince. Oh, we grew up. That's Jace. Oh, yeah, six years. Just here, right? I don't expect you to learn High Valyrian in a day, Jace. A king should honor the traditions of his forebears. Well, unless you're planning to depose your own mother, you have plenty of time to study. He's like, I'm a little too brown headed for all this Valyrian. <laughs> <laughs> a little that's hard for me, Mom. He's trying, though. You gotta, you gotta, like, appreciate oh. that. Aww. He means to call into question Luke's legitimacy. And by extension, Jace, and by extension, my own claim to the throne. Raymond cares wow. only about Driftmark, not about our politics. Has he made common cause with Otter Hightower yet? Mm, this is what Ooh. I fear. Rhaenys has flames accord. Whatever disagreements we may have had, she's not cruel, stupid enough to do that. Disagreements? She believes we had her son killed so that we might marry. Yes. And yet she's taken Baylor to war. Yes, it's Lena's memory. Oh, she, okay. she has no love for us. Has the viper's venom spread so far? Those vipers rule in my father's name. And my father... He's aged. What choice do I have? Because there was another time jump. Oh, yeah. Yes. To King's Landing, then. He's giving me Ned Stark vibes with his outfit and stuff. He's giving me a lot of vibes, baby. A whole lot of vibes, but ain't none of them been Ned Stark. He's trying to be honorable now. That's what I'm telling you guys. That's the honorable. That's the honorable cash. So that's he's just that's the called. character that grew up. Yeah, he's wearing he's the matured. he's wearing the Ned Stark ponytail and the Ned Stark just vibe. You know what? I'm gonna give him a fair shake, guys. Anyone so who has that ponytail is trying to be honorable. Okay, that's what I think. Kind of looks like Arya, don't he? Yeah, he does. He has an Arya vibe. 
I'm speaking to Arya. Remember when she stood there? Mm -hmm. Let me through. Let me through. Order Look at them running. <laughs> House Targaryen and her royal consort, Prince Daemon Targaryen. Helmet was tough. Why is it so dead? Welcome back, princess. Lord Caswell. Uh, I remember him. Look, it's the seven. They're showing us the seven right now. Cue that music. Why do you look concerned to see her? He almost looked like but I scarcely relieved. We uh, continue to enjoy improved customs duties since the settling of the stepstones, and the extent to which we exploit those is contingent on the harbor master's receipts, of which um. Hey, the, uh, baby. Septons have. When that guy was talking about a queen ruling, did he mean that her? I think so. Oh my god! Do you notice so, there was three straight seven pointed stars? Yeah, so she's like getting all religious on us and stuff. That's what I'm saying. Well, she's probably and, following Otto. Maybe they're using the high septon as like political like adversaries. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just interesting. That was wild. I didn't expect to see that. Me either. The only reason that I really brought it out, the only reason that it really concerned me was because, I mean, Game of Thrones made a huge deal that once you start getting in bed with those people and you're in power, it backfires on you. That they take the whole, over. Right. You ain't in charge no more. Would not drink a bit. Thank you for that exhaustive <laughs> accounting, Lord Beesbury. I remind you. Beesbury. <laughs> I love that name. Your guests have arrived, Your Grace. I trust they've been welcomed as befits their station. As you instructed, Lord Hand. It was my understanding Lord Corliss wished for his grandson, Lucerus, to succeed him as Lord of the Tides. The boy has been raised most of his life away from Driftmark. He can fly a dragon, yes, but can he command a fleet? Ability does not alter his claim. The Sea Snake has never formally named him as heir, if it comes to that. The Crown must choose what is best for the realm. He is Lord oh, wow. son. What grounds could there be what for- What indeed, Lord Beesbury? What indeed? <laughs> We shall hear Princess Rhaenyra's petition along with those of the other claimants on the morrow. Must greet our guests. Beesbury gets no respect, does he? None. He needs Show to try to make a run at that throne. The sale of new wool. has arisen that requires your attention. Whatever it is, Sir Eric, you need to wait. I'm Eric, your grace. Of course. My apologies, sir. It's about the prince. There's been a delicate situation in his apartments. Uh-oh. <laughs> What's his name? Aegon? Well, could it be Aegon or Aemon? Oh, wait, the Aegon's prince. the prince. Yeah. Well, wait, aren't they both princes if they're born? Only the first born son, right? I don't know. I don't know how it works. And I think they're only calling them that because they have loyalties to her because she's like there running stuff. Oh, okay. But if she like died, then all of a sudden they wouldn't call him that. It would probably be Rhaenyra's kid. They'd call the prince. If I'm right, I could be wrong. <sighs> oh. That is terrible. They already got him in gold like he's gonna die. Who goes there? Father. It's me. Rhaenyra. I'm here with Damon. Oh. Help me up. If Damon says something snarky, it's gonna hurt my feelings because he always does. Now you see the Just ponytail. Just let the old man be. I'm telling you, it's about the half ponytail. Oh. It has been so long. The sea snake has taken a grave wound in battle in the Stepstones. We won that four years ago. The trike is resurgent. The fighting is new. There is a petition to decide upon the succession of Driftmark and the heir to the Driftwood throne. Listen to not. Is he to all that business now? No, brother, listen to me. You are to affirm your position for Lucerus, to be Corlys Valarian's successor. Oh, something happened to Lord Corlys. Mm. Father? There's someone we wish to introduce you to. David. Brother. Who is that? Oh. Father. This is Egon. Egon. Oh. And this is Viserys. Twins? She had two kids? I thought she was just pregnant. That was a big time jump again, huh? That, that is a name. Fit for a king. Doesn't the other girl got a kid named Aegon? Or am I tripping? No, she does. Yeah, Aegon. Then why'd she name him Aegon? That's breaking my heart to see him like that. How mighty. Okay. This? Yes. 
He scared the little kids, didn't he? Oh. Mm. Hi. <sighs> I brought her here immediately. She seen no one else, you guys. Come here, sweetling. Tell your name. It's Diana. Your grace. Diana. What a pretty name. I understand you found yourself in some trouble. I was fetching the printed wine and I put it on his table and when I turned, I didn't see him. I asked him to stop. Your grace. <laughs> Truly. Oh. You must believe me. Yeah, I believe you because he was doing that out the window. Oh, God. That's why when she walked in, they said she ain't seen nobody else. Mm. Thank you for telling me, Diana. She's gonna kill her. I know it wasn't your fault. I believe you. Don't kill her. You do? Oh Don't gosh, kill her. I oh know. my god. But what I worry about is what others might believe. You were alone with the prince, were you not? If anyone else were to hear about this. I haven't told anyone. You told Sir Eric and Talia and now me. And though I believe you were not to blame, others might not be so trusting. They might think you were trying to besmirch the prince, or worse, that you're the sort of girl that might have enticed him in the first place. That is so terrible. Like that. that is terrible. I wasn't dreaming of anything another one to anyone. You guys, it's my all my life. I know you won't. For your troubles. The tea, your grace. That's that tea that uh, Rhaenyra had. How do you know it's not poison? She just gave her gold. Why don't she hand her gold? It's She's got to poison her. Maybe to snatch her right back, the double cross. Nah, she's giving her that, uh, plan B stuff. Unless I'm wrong. Oh, you mean to, like, make her comfortable? Oh, my God. Egg on! <sighs> Mother, what is it? What is it? What is it? That's all you couldn't say for yourself. If something happened. Diana, the serving girl. Oh, he got recast, didn't he? Because this is a different person. I don't know what you said, fleeing from your company. Oh, it was just harmless fun. She didn't need to go get upset about it. Think of the shame on your wife, on me. And he's married. How can you keep carrying on like this, especially on a day like today? Why? What is it today? A little bit harder next time. He needs that seven point of star shoved up his ass. <laughs> you are no son of mine. I did not ask for this. I've done everything you've asked me to. I try so hard, but it will never be enough for you or father. <laughs> Have you seen Diana? She's supposed to dress the children. Maybe her daughter is good or something. I That's guess. why she hugged her. Princess Rhaenyra and Prince Damon. Mm. It's been so long since we were granted the joy of your presence. They're not long enough to merit a greeting upon our arrival. I'm sure the Queen had. Pressing business, my love. What can either of us know of ruling a kingdom? I do not rule, as you well know. My father and I are mere stewards of the king's will and wisdom. And how exactly is that wisdom expressed? In blinks and wheezes. I'd be surprised if he could remember his own name or if you could. King Viserys' condition has worsened since you saw him last. <laughs> it subjects him to considerable pain on the advice of the maesters. Oh, the maesters. It is they who keep him addled on milk of the poppy while the high towers warm his throne. Rhaenyra, if you would see him without it. Excellent. I have no doubt it was an act of the purest mercy, but tell me, for the king's suffering, did the maesters also prescribe the removal of Targaryen heldry and the installation in its stead of various statues and stars? The emblems of the seven serve only to guide us on an yeah, basically path to him, remind huh? us of a higher authority. And on the morrow, which authority will sit in judgment of my son's claim on his own inheritance? That would be mine. And the hands. But be assured, the father is just and commands me to forget the accusations you have held in this room today. Wow. <laughs> so basically, <clears throat> they are not happy to see each other. Nope. That was tense. See? I told you this would still be here, and you thought you could swing Chris Long's morning star. What's your problem? Everyone's staring at us. Yeah. No one would question me being heir to Driftmark. If I look more like Sir Lainor Valarian than Sir Harwin Strong. <laughs> doesn't matter what they think. I feel like it does, though. <laughs> oh, there he goes. 
Like he was for real though, because you're not swinging that spike ball. Like you're not trying to kill his ass. Nephews, have you come to train? What the hell? This is a wild eye looking man <laughs> right here. Jeez. That's Amon? Yeah. Oh, I noticed he's a lot better fighter. Remember he was like Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Sir Chris and Cole's and trained them up. <laughs> At first I thought they were serious and I was confused and then that friendly banter in the end made me feel a little better, but... Hold your nerve, my queen. What we do, we do for the good of the realm. I must confess a certain uneasiness now this is at hand. He may yet live. But we must be prepared if he does not. Yeah, what if he found out that y'all are scheming? The realm has enjoyed a long peace. But the threat of war looms and may arrive on our shores. When it does, will you want a child at the command of the greatest fleet in Westeros? They've been saying that forever, ain't they? Mm -hmm. War is coming. The next Lord of the Ties will be deeply in your debt, Your Grace. She's a big choice to make here. I got a feeling I know which one she's gonna make. Grandmother? Raina. I like Renice a lot. I wasn't sure at first. Baylor said you might be here. She's done well as your ward. You've um, raised her admirably. You honor me. Might I speak to the princess alone, Raina? It's like stepmom. Okay, or aunt, whatever you are. It's complicated in this world, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I wondered for many an hour what your purpose was in coming here. Whether you'd speak for or against the suit brought by Sylvain. But then I realized you intend to advocate for yourself. This is no fair proceeding. It is a trap set by the queen in the hand I'd wager to proclaim my son illegitimate. Yet you did worse than that with Lenor. Did you not? I loved your son. He's blaming her. You may not believe it to be yes. true, but I did. And she could tell her the truth and it would help her, it seems like, right? I did not order his death, nor was I complicit in it. I swear this to you. Oh, I thought they made it seem like she did it. I'll make you an offer. Back Luke's claim and let us betroth Lena's children to mine. Bela will be queen of the seven kingdoms and her sons will be heirs to the throne. Mm. Raina will rule in Driftmark, and the seat will pass to her and Lucera's children in time. A generous offer. Or a desperate one. What does it matter? You're right in this, at least. It does not matter. Wow. You can bargain with me all you like. Bring my granddaughter with you to soften my resolve. But tomorrow the High Towers land their first blow. They force you to your knees, and I must stand alone. Mm. Yeah, so she said, you better get busy and show me something. <laughs> yeah, that's what I got. She needs assurances. But that was a good offer. <laughs> Heck yeah, it was. She's doing anything. She just wants these kids safe. She'll marry them to anybody as long as they'll protect them. <laughs> no, it's Rhaenyra, father. He said death not. Rhaenyra. The song of ice and fire, do you believe it to be true? I got the dream. You told me. It was our duty to hold the realm united against a common foe. By naming me heir, you divided the realm. Possible decision. I thought I wanted it. But the burden is a heavy one. It's too heavy. My only child. If you wish me to bear it, then defend me. And my children. He's on that poppy too. Oh, man. Look at it with the cobwebs. That was a really good catch. Hate to see him like this. I want to have supper, Otto. It is the morning, Your Grace. Uh, tonight, the whole of my family are gathered at the Red Keep. I uh, want us to dine together. Last time that happened, ain't that when they. Well, they weren't oh. dining, right? They met up. Last time they were all together was when uh, the thing happened, maybe? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Oh my god. Bring so milk the Bobby. They weren't lying. He's miserable without it. No. Just arrange the supper. He was trying to get him to be quiet with that. Say that again, baby. Was he like trying to tell him like don't have the dinner by giving him milk of the poppy? He was like, You're talking crazy. Here, take this. And he said, <clears throat> just arrange it. 
well yeah there's probably truth to that but a part of me really wants to there it, it always comes back to that double motive thing but i have to believe on some level Otto hates to see the man suffer like that i know right i mean that'd be hard to see even if you hated someone once they've become old and feeble which i don't think he hates them he just wants power but i think he just feels for him but at the same time yeah don't get his family together you get him all emotional when he's old and senile no i think he just doesn't want him to have any part in that like thing that they have going on with drift mark that's all i'm saying Whoa. Though it is the great hope of this court that Lord Corlys Valarian survive his wounds, we gather here with a grim task of dealing with the succession of Driftmark. As hand I speak with the King's voice on this, the Crown will now hear the petitions. Surveyment of House Valarian. Here we go. My Queen, my Lord Hand, the history of our noble houses extends beyond the Seven Kingdoms to the days of old Valeria. For as long as House Targaryen has ruled the skies, House Valarian has ruled the seas. When the doom fell on Valeria, our houses became the last of their kind. Our forebearers came to this new land knowing that were they to fail, it would mean the end to their bloodlines and their name. I am Lord Corlys's closest kin, his own blood. The true, unimpeachable blood of House Valarian runs through my veins. As it does in my sons, the offspring of Lenor Valarian. If you cared so much about your house's blood, Sir Baymond, you would not be so bold as to supplant its rightful heir. Now you only speak for yourself and for your own ambition. You'll have a chance to make your own petition, Princess Rhaenyra. <laughs> Do Sir Baymond the courtesy of allowing his to it's be It's like heard. she's speaking facts, but she's lying to it at the same time. Yeah. It's weird. <laughs> Order in the court, though. What do you know of Valarian blood, Princess? I could cut my veins and show it to you, and you still wouldn't recognize it. This is about the future and survival of my house, not yours. This is a matter of blood, not ambition. I humbly put myself before you as my brother's successor. Thank you, Sir Vayman. Princess Rhaenyra, you may now speak for your son, Lucerys Valarian. Not if a fair trial. If I you grace this <laughs> fast with some answer, I will start by reminding the court that nearly 20 years ago in this very... <gasps> King Viserys oh. of House Targaryen, the first of his name, King of the Andals, and the Rhoynar and the first men, Lord of the Seven Kingdoms and protector Kissed. of the realm. A moment. That's what this is. So he's basically like doing this for an era. Yeah, in a sense, yeah. Yeah, she went there last night and said, defend him, defend her. And he's doing that. Yeah, and Damon asked nicely, like the first time. I must sit the throne today. Your grace. No, no. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Oh, man. I said I'm fine. Oh. Good moment, good moment. Best part of the season so far. I must admit my confusion. I do not understand why petitions are being heard over a settled succession. The only one present who might offer keener insight into Lord Corliss's wishes is the Princess Rhaenys. Oh. Indeed, Your Grace. It was ever my husband's will that Driftmark pass through Selenor to his true-born son, Lucerys Valarian. Wow. His mind never changed, nor did my support of him. As a matter of fact, the Princess Rhaenyra has just informed me of her desire to marry her sons Jason and Luke to Lord Corliss's granddaughters, Bela and Rhaena, a proposal to which I heartily agree. Damn. Well, That's a win for Rhaenyra right there. I know. The matter is settled. I hereby reaffirm Prince Lucerys of House Valarian is heir to Driftmark, the Driftwood Throne, and the next Lord of the Tides. <laughs> bruh. <laughs> like, bruh. <laughs> you break law and centuries of tradition to install your daughter as heir. Yet you dare tell me who deserves to inherit the name Valarian. 
I mean, I feel him a little bit. Not allow it. Allow it. Do not forget yourself, Feyman. That is no true Valarian. And certainly no nephew of mine. You ain't allowed to say that, bro. You have said enough. Viserys is my true-born grandson. Do you know more than the second son of Driftmark? You may run your house as you see fit. But you will not decide the future of mine. My house survived the doom, and a thousand tribulations besides. And gods be damned, I will not see it ended on the account of this. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Don't do it. <gasps> Her children are bastards! <gasps> Oh my golly goodness. She is a dude. Well, that settles it. <laughs> you know what? Right. Well, have your tongue for that. He can keep his tongue. Disarm him! Oh. 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 That guy liked that. Oh. Oh. Call the masters! Oh. Father. Please, my love, must take something for the pain. Oh, he got too worked up. I will not talk my mind. I was really scared he was going to trip on one of them swords. I really was scared about that for some reason. Yeah, I would be too. I'd be scared he'd stumble right into one. That's like Game of Thrones season one with those ladies with the head thing. Mm -hmm. Oh. The body will be ready for its return to Driftmark on the morrow, my lady. You may wish to leave the Silent Sisters to their work. It is ill luck to look upon the face of death. The stranger has visited me more times than I can count, Grand Maester. He cares little whether my eyes are open or closed. She's talking about death, right? She's just seen a lot of it? Yeah, I guess so. Ooh. That Valyrian still cuts clean, don't it? I feel bad for the dude. He just wanted a little castle. Ex besties. Oh, this is that dinner you want. <laughs> How good it is to see you all tonight together. Prayer before we begin. Yes. May the mother smile down on this gathering with love. And to Vaim and Valarian, may the gods give him rest. <laughs> this is an occasion for celebration, it seems. My grandsons, Jason and Luke, will marry their cousins, Bela and Reyna, further strengthening the bond between our houses. A toast to the young princess and their betrothed. Hey, hey. They seemed happy. <laughs> well done, Jason. You finally get to lie with a woman. Let us toast as well, <laughs> Prince Lucerus, a future lord of the tides. You'll be great. I don't know. <laughs> you might not be cut out for it. You do know how the act is done. How about yeah, let me show At you, big boy. Let it be, cousin. You can play the gesture if you wish, but hold your tongue before my betrothed. <sighs> Ooh, he said, don't be talking about around my lady like that. It both gladdens my heart and fills me with sorrow to see these faces around the table, the faces most dear to me in all the world, yet grown so distant from each other years past mm. oh my goodness mm. now it's like Gustavo Fring you don't know who that is but my I do. own face uh, he's missing he's no longer eye. a handsome one if indeed it ever was but tonight I wish you to see me as I am not just a king but your father your brother your oh. husband your grandsire, who may not, it seems, walk for much longer among you. <sighs> Let us no longer hold your feelings in our hearts. The crown cannot stand strong if the house of the dragon remains divided. But set aside your grievances, if not for the sake of the crown, and for the sake of this old man who loves hey. you all so oh my dearly. Gosh. Oh. 
I wish to raise my cup to Her Grace the Queen. Always reaching out. I love my father, but I must admit that no one has stood more loyally by his side than his good wife. Aww. She has tended to him with unfailing devotion, love, and honor. And for that, she has my gratitude. And my apology. Damn. Your graciousness moves me deeply, princess. We are both mothers, and we love our children. We have more in common than we sometimes allow. I raise my cup to you, and to your house. Well, hell yeah, let's go. I love this. You will make a fine queen. Maybe that's the best speech that man ever gave in his life. I know. He said, I'll drink to that, brother. Oh. Then little girl right there, his uncle just got straight chopped in half by Damon. <laughs> They're just chilling. I regret the disappointment you're soon to suffer. But if you ever wish to know what it is to be well satisfied, all you have to do is ask. Chase. How's he the little brother? To Prince Aegon and Yeah, he played it off Prince good, Edmund. didn't he? We have not seen each other in years, but I have fond memories of our shared youth. And as men, I hope we may yet be friends and allies. To you and your family's good health, dear uncles. Oh yeah, that's his uncles. To you as well. <laughs> Was that Otto? What? Who did this to him? Was it? I, I don't know. I would like to toast Bela and Reyna. They'll be married soon. It isn't so bad. Mostly he just ignores you. <laughs> Except sometimes when he's drunk. <laughs> Let us have some music. <sighs> that was a strange toast. <laughs> That looked like a tiring dance. Right. It really did. <laughs> the side, the lateral hops. <laughs> no. The firstborn son, uh, Jacerus, I like him a lot. Even what he's doing right now, taking that dance, just to show some good, some good faith. You know? <laughs> yeah. He doesn't die now because he got to see his family happy. I know that's how it always freaking works. Like you bring them together, have some cheer. He like smiled and now he just it's almost like that's all he had left or something. Why is he always looking like that? Like stiff as a board? Right. With a smug look. Has he even talked yet? Oh, they did that on purpose? Because he got told the pig was his dragon. Final tribute to the health of my nephews. Oh wow. Jace. Luke and Joffrey, each of them handsome, wise, strong. Amen. Come. Let us drain our cups to these three strong boys. I dare you to say that again. Why? It was only a compliment. Call Do not the think house. yourself strong. Oh, oh. Man, these kids suck. Why would you say such a thing before these people? I was merely expressing how proud I am of my family, mother. Though it seems my nephews aren't quite as proud of theirs. Wait, wait. Wow, that went sideways. I know. Go to your quarters. All of you go now. He got triggered by that pig. I knew it. I'm surprised he remembered. I don't forgot. Venera. <laughs> 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 It's best, I think, if we go back to Dragonstone. You've only just arrived. No way. Like, is this fake? You know what I'm saying? Let me see the children home. I'll um, return on Dragonback. <laughs> so you can get shot down? The king and I would both like that. Maybe you should have just left the kids at home in the first place. No, they need to see their grandpa. I mean, not as one of them lose another eye for it. And though, one of but... them was about to inherit the heir to Driftmark. They had to be there. <laughs> Hey, it's that girl. Uh, his Damon's person. Yeah. His ex paid services. It's been quite a night at the castle, Sims. Yes, lady. 
that's the girl that done gave the tea. I don't even know what you're talking about. That was the same girl. Scroll back. I'm pretty positive it was that same girl because her hair. Look at this. You see that long hair what to the tea? side? She, Lady Allison told her to give the tea. This girl. Oh, that long hair. That, okay, that profile. Okay. I mean, she really does take care of him in a sense. I mean, he's in so much pain. What can you do? I'm sorry. What do you want to do? If I believe it to be true. Wrong daughter, bro. Believe what to be true, my king. Oh, she might tell him. Do you remember? Aegon. Our son. His dream. The song of ice. And fun. It is true. What he saw in the north. The prince that was promised. I don't understand the sounds. Oh, the prince. Prince Aegon. To unite the realm against the cold and the dark. It is you. You are the one. You must do this. Oh no. Who does he think he's talking to? I understand, my king. What do you understand? She don't know anything about the nah, dagger that, sword. That was a miscommunication right there, I think. So he's sitting there telling her, thinking he's talking to his daughter about the... About his dream. <sighs> oh, man. Please stop. Oh, when he said my love, do you think he was seeing his wife? Yeah, probably. He probably saw Emma. Wow. All right, guys. Well, that one left me feeling a little flat. Uh, that was really sad. I, I loved, I loved King Viserys as a character. Um, man had a lot of flaws in a lot of ways, but I think in terms of a Game of Thrones character, he's like one of the goats, man. Yeah, he really Absolutely. is. Absolutely. He really is. Jeez. They Assuming that, that it was his death, I'm pretty sure it was because he did say him. he did was saying my love. So, um, man, look dead to me. I thought that episode was insane. I thought, I thought, geez, Louise, their families, family drama runs deep in that house. It's almost like the girls were willing to put it aside, but the kids are just so hateful of one another that they just can't stop talking junk because they're at those really annoying ages. We're right. going through that in our personal life right now. Are we not? <laughs> yeah. With some some of our family members, our son and a member of our family that's a boy that's older, man, just they just trolling go, each other yes. constantly. So that we know that's how kids do it sometimes, but right. I I did want to say I noticed in that scene um when Viserys was in the room, everyone kind of acted a different way, but then the minute he left it went sideways. So that was now that he's gone i feel like things are gonna go sideways i do too and then the let's talk about the last thing on, that happened let's, let's first he was sitting there talking to rhaenyra and then she asked him a question and i guess he didn't yeah he didn't answer it i guess and then next thing you know he's on the milk of the poppy they keep mm. jacking him up with the milk of the poppy because he's suffering, which they were telling the truth about that. Yeah. And he thinks he's talking to Rhaenyra about the Song of Ice and Fire. And then he tells Alicent Aegon, which is annoying because he was talking about Aegon the Conqueror, but obviously she doesn't know about that. Right. She has no idea about that. So she's that. like, our son? Because she's not our Targaryen, son? yeah. She's like, right. the pr Prince Aegon? Didn't Rhaenyra have a kid named Aegon? Right. Right. So maybe she'll turn around and say he was talking about her. So that might get complicated also. I just think it's complicated because they keep giving people the same names. But I don't think I missed anything there. Is that what happened? He got confused and told her that? I think so. She I said, think... I understand my king. And now she she's... was on his side where he didn't have an eye. So he didn't even see anybody. You know what oh, I'm saying? Yeah. yeah like she was true. sitting on that yeah. side. So uh, I don't. Right. I don't really. And he's just so out of it. Right. I, I mean. That just was a big miscommunication, but if she's like, I don't know how much Allison values his like wishes, you know, I don't really know how much Allison really loves him because we haven't really got to see like their, their love for each other or whatever, but I don't know how much she's going to take in it. Well, how much she stake she's going to take in that because her son Aegon sucks. You know what I'm saying? Like he's garbage. Yeah. 
and I and she might love him to death, man. But that might not necessarily be relevant to the question at hand. Do you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I mean, she could have loved him as much as she possibly could, given the situation. But, um, but she feels like it's up to her because the way he worded it, he said it's up to you to unite the realm to do this. So she's probably thinking he she knows he he sees prophecies and stuff. She's probably thinking that he was talking about her and Prince Aegon. So she's gonna try to really really. So hard. now she's gonna be on a damn holy right. mission. I think she's okay. gonna think it's like a whole prophecy thing. She might even add the church more into it. You know what I'm saying? Because she right really strongly believed this crap. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, basically, man, then we get into it a little more. Um, and your boy Prince Damon is over there collecting uh, eggs. <laughs> uh, so that's pretty cool. The dude's a full cave explorer now. <laughs> and one of the great uniters of dragon eggs. So that's pretty cool. And yeah, there, there was just that, right? Hey, but you know, he said three eggs. He got three eggs from that little thing. Yeah. And then Rhaenyra has one in the oven and they brought twins. So maybe that's three eggs for your three kids. Right. And let us know in the comments, do any of you guys mess with the seven? Because I'm like an old gods dude myself. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I like the old gods. I don't really like the seven. I was talking... Were we saying this on film or were we saying this outside of film? But I think we we're just saying outside of film. We we're just talking about... I feel like <laughs> the show tries to... And I don't know if this is true, but it seems like... If there was to be like a quote unquote true religion in this show, the one that you should adhere to would be like the old gods. It seems like they're like the fruits that they bear seem to be better. Mm -hmm. But the faith of the seven, it seems like that breeds a lot of like corruption and a lot of like political turmoil and stuff like that. It's and just it very just, new school. Right. And it seems like the fruits that it bears come out a lot more rotten than the fruit right. that the old gods do. So, but then there's like the Lord of Light and all that, which I understand that it ties in and all that. But um so i just thought that was really interesting uh is another time jump happened in this one man which was a little confusing at first because you know with the time jumps there are some characters that still remain the same but i know with the kids you kind of have to change them because they six years passing that kid is not going to look the same you know what I'm yeah, saying? so sure. you so i get that you have to change the kids but we're just kind of collecting ourselves trying to remember who's who but it's good to have someone with the eye patch we know it's that one <laughs> and thank goodness that he does have an eye patch because that's the only really confusing one because He's like the bigger, big brother is yeah. so much bigger, yeah. But I guess the idea is he gets the most at the table because he has the best dragon, so you know <laughs> he gets extra ham. Oh, he, you you think with that new dragon he's got new swag or something? Yeah, he was a fighter now. He was a fighter, yeah. yeah so he maybe was that a, a king's guard. That dragon gave him a little bit of confidence, it seems. Right, he was handling that king's guard. Yeah. Uh, Chris and uh, fell off. Chris Stone. And anyways, he's old now. Oh, business man. Yeah, definitely a lot of political strife going on with um Coralus's house because I think it said in the show we haven't seen him in six years. He's been off fighting uh, in the crab lands basically. Because and they keep rising back up just like on Game of Thrones, like when Daenerys left, how Bra not Bravos, how the free cities were like rising back up. It's yeah, they like, find a way, yeah, right? They just keep yeah, they ways. always find a way. So yeah, that's a problem that just looks like it's gonna go on forever. Uh well, but maybe there's a reason the stepstones aren't important in Game of Thrones, you know? You have to also consider that. Eventually, they'll probably win the right, war and right. destroy it or something. Yeah, we'll see. Or they'll blow it up or something. Yeah, that's what's interesting, seeing all that. Yeah. But anyways, man, uh, the brother wanted to come in. It was a brother, right? Yeah. And in his mind, he's thinking, nah, bro, we don't want this damn... I keep trying to think of like a white celebrity that looks like that little kid, but I'm kind of having a hard time. Who looks like him? That kid from uh, Bates Motel and The Good Doctor. It looks uh, like that could be their dad, uh, not Lord Corliss. What the heck is his name? Yeah, yeah, I get it. I, what is his name? That's going to bother the crap out of me. What's his name in the show? Something. He basically Norman. looks like Norman from yeah. Bayes Motel. It looks like Emma and Norman in the show. But um, Right, but if you want to think from that guy's perspective, if you clearly know, but the thing is you're, you're, you're being a little cuckoo because that's the heir to the throne. Like, they're going to side with her, obviously. But right. I do understand from his point of view how you would want to see your a true family member inherit it like that would kind of hurt well, like family. i said you gotta have bigger families you gotta have half your family not fighting in wars because <laughs> I, I feel like if you're that worried about your house for the next thousand years you need to stop cutting it so close right but, but he got his head chopped off for that so right absolutely yeah he got his head cut off by damon because he went wild in the middle of court uh called the kid bastards which honestly is true and that's the whole thing is like rhaenyra's whole entire thing is predicated on a lie and it's a lie that I mean, I can look past it and be like, oh, okay, well, you know, I understand. But not in this world. In this world, is a really big deal. So 
it's kind of weird to root for in that sense. Right. It's weird. Okay. So here's my thing with Rhaenyra and kind of Allison too. So I really, I'm at the point where I'm not really rooting for Rhaenyra or Allison, so to say. It's more their heirs because it's more their kids because Allison and Rhaenyra kind of came together, but you just see how opposite they are. So like Aegon and Aemon are one way and then Jason Luke are one way. Mm -hmm. So you just you kind of want to just get behind Jason Luke because they seem like they're more significantly yes. less wild. Yeah, 100 percent. And and that's why I, I don't really look at it as the Allison and Rhaenyra. I look at it as their versus their kids, in my opinion, because. Yeah, I'll shift my thinking to that. I need to catch up a little bit with the times for sure. But I guess they're just what started it all. So it's it's complicated. What in the hell is that statue right there? Hold on. This thing popped up. I'm going to show you in a second. I want to see. It looked like a girl with her legs spread open. Look at that thing. It is. Wait, what is that? And the, something going in. <laughs> Guys, this show is too much sometimes. Anyway, this symbolism. gross little kid right here. Uh. Aegon. Has been. I don't even want to say what the man did because YouTube doesn't really take too kind to the word. But he was basically. Uh, he did some stuff that was not consensual. He grapefruited that girl, which was really disgusting. And I couldn't tell if his mom was genuinely concerned. Like, wow, that's actually just. I'd imagine as a woman, you have to think that's disgusting, right? Yeah. I mean, as any as a human, you have to think that's disgusting, right? Um, but it seemed like yeah, that's disgusting. But that's to be expected of my son. Let's protect the family. Yeah. Right. Which is kind of gross behavior. I don't understand how these kids are so terrible. I guess it's just in their DNA. I guess that's the whole thing. It's but it's everything. crazy to have such a sweethearted person like Vis Viserys as your dad. And Allison doesn't seem like she's that bad of a mother. I don't really get how these crazies fell off unless we go back to when you when a Targaryen is born, you flip a coin theory. And you flip a coin and that one landed on tails twice. Yeah. And, and on she said, tails, tails never fail. <laughs> yeah, tails never fail, baby. <laughs> Uh, and then seeing the king, the king Viserys was obviously so sad, guys. Seeing his character come and go so quick in one season kind of sucked. It, it's really reminiscent of Robert Baratheon. That's the character that when I first saw him, I wasn't sure what to make of the show. Uh, give give it about two or three hours in, and I absolutely love the character. Yeah. And then just like that, he died, man. So he came and went really fast. I feel like Viserys eventually, you know, because we're watching this live with you guys starting soon, like very soon. So. In a couple of years, this character is going to be a footnote. Right. And, uh, you know, I'm definitely going to have to watch this series twice along with Game of Thrones. But I know it'll be good to go back and see King Viserys one day. Right. Now that I have a better idea of who he is, he was just a good king, man. He just yeah. had a good heart. Sometimes having a great heart isn't the best thing for an Iron Throne, but it's, he was just It just a good seemed man. like he was stuck in his old ways. But, like, you know, he kept trying to build that little thing and just was hoping for something that wasn't gonna happen <laughs> well he didn't have he he wasn't the type of king to have a lot of forethought you know he was a very surface level thinker and there's nothing wrong with that but he didn't really think about long-term things he wasn't able to like picture himself you know in a long-term situation i felt like everything was just minute to minute day to day just try to be happy in the moment don't overthink things and in a lot of ways it worked but in a lot of ways maybe that maybe that is what destroyed his family you know maybe he should have been almost meaner in a sense of like forcing them to like put things behind them in a sense like because obviously the the but can we talk about the scene right here yeah please okay so i would say the best scene in this whole episode maybe even the whole series for me right now mm -hmm. is rhaenyra the night before the this who did who they decide gets the succession of drift mark yeah, um it was really nice the night before Rhaenyra tells um, Viserys to defend her if he if he really believes the prophecy like if that's something you truly believe like defend me and he literally walks in can't even do it falls on the throne and still does it because obviously this prophecy means a lot to him he's obviously seen it like he sees it so it's clear that that is more important than his relationship with Alicent. Well, yeah. well, not not just his relationship with Allison, but like you know, just anyone testing his daughter's legitimacy because that is an act of treason, right? And you know, and on some level, he understands that Allison was just someone that was placed there in his life. Like I'd imagine, on some level, in his heart, he doesn't really want to side with her so much. But they have a really complicated relationship. I think Allison remained dutiful, maybe you know, but I I do think she loved him. 
I know that's besides the point, but it's just really interesting. That's what I was saying with a different perspective, rewatching it. I might have a whole different right. take on the relationship. Which I, I think she did because you could tell in the end she was caring for her, him. Mm -hmm. And when she he said that, she looked like, and she said, I understand my king. And then so, she walked off and he immediately died. So it was almost like she didn't know he was going to die or it was just symbolism of, and I'm sorry to interrupt you, but. No, you didn't. Oh, well, I've literally pampered you until your last moments. Now that you finally like get it was almost like even though he was talking crazy and she knew that and she wasn't really sure what she heard that was more than enough to give herself a justification to lower her own personal standards so that way she could try to pursue power do you get Possibly, what i'm saying yes and um, so that's why she just walked off she's like i'm done with you at this point you've given me my my excuse to like act on my impulses which i've never done i've always been you know in service and, Except for the dinner or whatever it was. And I think when she walked away and he died, that was the show's way of showing that, like, everything that's held Allison back is gone. At this point, bump everything. The king's gone. And even his memory isn't even important no more because I literally just walked away from it right. on your last But on, on that other note, in that same scene, on his point of view, maybe that was him giving his last final words about, hey, protect this, please. You're the person to do it. Thinking he's talking to Rhaenyra. And then he goes... Because he gave, he just gave the final words. That's the, all he wanted to say. Bye. That's the end. Yeah, that's so. That's so weird, man. So it's setting up that there's going to be a big misunderstanding then, and this whole show is going to be predicated on the fact that Allison is going to be sitting there claiming that the living will of her husband for all those years at the moment of his departure happened to just change while he was intoxicated on milk of the poppy. It just seems like it's kind of like a flaky argument. I can't really mess with Allison. No right. more guys. Right, and like, my thing is, Aegon, with them being having such a strong hold on him, like, why is he not different? Why does he keep sucking? Like, You know what would be interesting, though? And I'm sorry I'm completely ignoring your question, but if I don't say this, I'll forget. Maybe, maybe Allison won't be that bad as a character. Like, I'm giving her all these bad, but maybe since her sons obviously suck so much and there's not much wiggle room for good, and maybe that's why she hugged her daughter the way she did. Mm -hmm. Maybe she actually won't be that bad, but it'll just be her kids and the love of her kids that will put her in impossible after disgusting situation. Which is kind of like what it seems like. It's headed right. that way. It almost seems like she's, she's like, like the cover up decent. lady. She's like the cover up lady for all their crazy junk, it seems like. Yeah, the Targaryen bloodlines just bigger than her own individual her own individualism i guess so whatever she feels says thinks none of it's really gonna matter because she's the mother of targaryen so whatever they say is gonna end up being what matters and she's gonna have to defend them i mean you can't just abandon right. your kids so but with such they, a strong thing he said at the i'm sorry to interrupt no you. please go the, i'm all with such a strong thing he said on his final words i feel like if she's gonna continue being dutiful allison She's going to take what he said and actually like run run hard as heck with but it. But do you think she actually believes what she heard? I mean, the thing is, from I feel her like, perspective, you almost I feel have like to, she right? would have to know, like she'd have to truly believe their prophecies like come to life. I feel like she'd have to really believe that in order to believe him because right. she knows he's prophetic. He told her at the fire, like you can be a dragon rider, you can be a prophecy person or a dreamer. Mm -hmm. And I'm a dreamer. Well, I feel like if it comes in question, just ask Rhaenyra. Rhaenyra, walk up, show you the prophecy on the dagger, tell you about Aegon, be done with it. I feel like it's more of a protection thing, though. I feel like Rhaenyra can't really tell nobody. She just has to protect it. Why can't you tell anybody? Because he said he only was going to tell his heir, and you should only tell your heir from then on. I don't really... Somebody explain to me in the comments why exactly you're only allowed to tell the successor that secret. I mean, I understand the more people that know a secret, it isn't a secret no more, but if it's an inevitability, like... Maybe maybe the masses will just see it as like propaganda and it'll make their entire history illegitimate or something. Maybe. I don't know. Just just let us know. That's very interesting. Or maybe it can get misinterpreted like said situation. Or Melisandre's of the world that misinterpret yeah, things. Right, yeah. Or Missande. Oh, actually in High Valyrian it can be <laughs> male and female. It's like, yeah, I bet Missande. Uh -huh. <laughs> you have a queen. No, I'm just playing. Uh, I don't speak High Valyrian, so I'm just talking junk. I thought that the... Uh, the dinner was really good, man. Those little rat-headed blonde hair kids, they're just not any good to me. They they really suck. <laughs> I, I, I hope that I see them die bloody deaths. And they're sitting there trying to pr pr uh, 
get the future king all riled up, man. And he kind of snapped Boda's fist up. And I just think it's funny because the girls genuinely felt, and that's why I think maybe Allison's not that bad because she genuinely felt moved, mm -hmm. right? It looked like she wanted her friend back. She wanted her homie back. She, yeah. she feels like she's, she's lived such a dutiful life to Viserys that it's almost like she did learn to love him, you know? I mean, mm -hmm. you know, and this kid's just, they're hell. So <laughs> I don't know what else to say. I mean, she's Crazy probably episode. taking care of him a lot. So it probably also has been like, she's, he's really dependent on her. So, okay, good. Now I can finally turn this <laughs> recap off. All right, we're back. So man, yeah, that was, that was good. That was such a good episode. We got two more of the season. Then obviously we're going to be on episode one and then we're going to be live with you guys. Uh, then we can finally talk about what we think is going to happen. You, you guys can finally speak your mind about everything that's going on. You don't have to sit there and like hold back anymore. So yeah. I'm really excited about that. Unless you've read the books. If you've, if you've read the books. That's not fair. Just chill. Right. right. But also, I'm sure they've hopefully been a little different. So there's an element of surprise for you guys or something like that. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, thank you guys so much for hanging out, man. This episode was really t touching. It was really inspiring. Uh, long live King Viserys. I'm going to miss that guy. I thought he was an amazing character. I'll say it twice, man. I really did think that he was one of the best characters in this. Absolutely. I guess franchise, you could say. So. I'm gonna miss him a lot, and oh my gosh! Think of this though, so Rhaenyra is about to take the crown right now. I didn't think about that until just this that. minute. Jeez, man, Rhaenyra is about to take the crown. Oh my gosh, that's and what's up. Allison just said openly, "You're gonna be a great queen." So wait a minute. So Rhaenyra is gonna take the thing, and then Allison's gonna hear that, and that's where they're gonna rise and then up. All of a sudden, she out of nowhere is just gonna come up that. Uh, Ramirez and be like, oh, by the way, I had a talk with Viserys, and it turns out, blah blah blah. Just like King Robert died when he gave Ned hand to the king thing, just, yeah, like, just that, like that, just yeah. like that. I can see how that's gonna be sticky. If I'm if I'm Ramirez, I'm just sitting there like, what, <laughs> like, what the hell are you talking about? Um, because in my mind, I'm gonna know you obviously misheard. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, I guess she's about to be queen, so that's gonna be crazy. And once again, wow. I don't, I don't know if anyone ever answered this. Has there ever been a queen in Westeros, I like a, a successor queen? I know there was one, and I know there was for sure one in Dorne, because that's who Arya named her dog after. Mm -hmm. or, sorry, guys, her dire wolf. I say dog because my my dogs are my dire wolves, but I love I love them. And yeah, they're dire pugs. They're dire pugs. But um, anyways. Yeah, Nymeria was the was a queen of Dorne, I think, mm -hmm. or something like that. Leader of Dorne, queen of Dorne. Y'all know what I'm talking about. The lore, you know what I'm talking about. All right, uh, yeah, absolutely, guys. So incredible episode. I, I think that this, you know, this story is is bumping, man. So we'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you so much for hanging out. Make sure you hit us over on Patreon, and we're gonna get out of here. If you throw it some more fingers, so yeah. we'll see y'all next one. Peace.